Hey everyone, so I am doing a video on my April favorites. Um, so these are the things that I've been using a lot, like on the job, as far as like photo shoots and stuff. So some of this might not be um, things that you would want to use on an everyday basis, but there are some things I'm going to try and include uh, for things that I've been using for like, for example, like when I work for NARS, there's certain products that I use on a lot of like people or things that I feel that a lot of people are asking for, and this is what I've been using for. So things that I, I, I've been using a lot in, in the last month um, for uh, just, like, everyday use compared to when I'm doing, like, a photo shoot makeup. But because I do, I've been doing a lot of photo shoots, I've been using a lot of products that I haven't used in a while, or I've, I have a few products that I've been using a lot lately for certain things. So I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make this kind of quick, I guess, not like too quick, but like long enough that it's a video. Um, it's actually not as messy as it looks. It's um quite organized. So stop looking, um or judging, whatever you guys do. All right. So first thing I'm gonna talk about is what should I do first? Um, I'll I'll get the boring things out of the way. Okay. So this is may seem really kind of redundant. Uh, as far as why this is my favorites, but I have this, um, Germs Be Gone. This is, like, literally, it's like a, it's, um, hand sanitizer, but in, like, this little tube. And what I do is I, well, now that's good, I have, like, the big bottle of, like, um, antibacteria, um, stuff, and what I do is I just unscrew it, the top like this, and take it out and refill it. So... The reason why this isn't my favorite is because a lot of my shoes lately have been, like, on location. So, um, I need to, like, really minimize, like, the sizes of things. So, I'm not going to bring, like, the big thing of hand sanitizer when I only need, like, you know, this will do, you know, a couple jobs worth of hand sanitizer, you know what I mean? And it's small and convenient. So, that's why, um, this isn't my favorites is because I actually have two of these. And, um, so that's why this is my favorite. And I think this is actually kind of good, like, if you want it, like, in your purse. Like, I know they have, like, the little miniature, like, fat, fatter bottles. But this is, for me, this is, uh, very convenient. And I just pop it in my tackle box kit. And I, um, yeah, so this is why it's my favorites. It's kind of boring, but hey, you know, whatever. And I, I, I switch up, like, the scents and non-scented. I have a non-scented one, and I have one that has, like, some scents in it. Like, um, I don't know. Uh, this one's, like, aloe or something like that. Like, aloe. Yeah. Um, next is... Oh. This is kind of boring. Um, this is a, a newer product that I kind of picked up, and I really like it. I'm using it, obviously, all the time. Um, this is, um, you know, I can't even pronounce the name of that. Whatever homeoplasmine, uh, this is a, a lip balm, like, this is, like, a lip treatment, um, I mean, it's made for, actually, like, really, really chapped skin, like, around the nose, or if you get, like, um, if you're going skiing or something like that, and you get, like, windburnt, it's good for that, but I use this for lip balm, primarily for me, personally, not just for me personally, but, like, on the job for models and stuff, and actress. Now, the reason why, this isn't my favorite, this is, I, as before, I used to use, well, I still use, but not as much anymore, since I got this stuff, I used to, still do love, my Kiehl's lip balm, it's, like, my favorite, it's actually in my bag, like, I use it on, on, um, when I'm out and stuff, uh, but the reason why I like this stuff is because when you put it on, it's actually matte. Like, it, it's not too shiny at all. And that's really good, like, for if I'm doing, like, guy makeup, or if I'm doing, like, a character, um, for example, like, if, if there's an actress or a model, and the lips need to be matte, to prep the, the lips with something that's shiny makes it a little bit more difficult to um, make, it, make it stay matte, right? Um, it's still, like, it's... <coughs> Excuse me. It's still like you know that kind of texture, right? I don't know if you can see that, but like so, it's it, it does go on like kind of like an oil, I guess. Like it kind of. Oh. See, uh, uh, whatever. I don't know what that was supposed to establish, but anyways, at least my lips are now you know, nice and moisturized. Um. So that I guess that's why I really like this stuff because it doesn't um. Uh, go overly shiny like some lip balms like the Kiehl's ones I find go a little bit more shiny and sometimes that's not what I want also this stuff absorbs really really fast 
Um, but so does the Kiehl's one, right? Uh, so anyway, so this is my new favorite. Um, I'd like to know where I can get more of the skincare line. This is the skincare line. Um, so uh, I'm interested in that. Uh, next is, oh, let's get into some NARS products, shall we? The next one is, it, it's like more than one, like, it, it, like, I don't know how to explain it. But I've been using these things, like, almost on every photo shoot I've done so far this month. And it's the Velvet Lip Pencils in the NARS. I have a lot of different shades, and I honestly use these so much um, compared to regular lipsticks. Now, I mean, like, there's only so many colors, right? But, I mean, like, if I need to, like, alter the colors, if I need something a little bit more plum or whatever, I, I'll use, like, a mix. The, uh, put this on first, and then you can make it, like, a stain. Um, and then I can put, like, a regular lipstick on top to alter the colors to kind of change it up because, you know, I only have, like, certain... so many colors, right? But anyways... These are fantastic, excuse me, um, I think I've probably reviewed them before. I think the majority of the people who've tried NARS have probably tried these before, um, or know someone um, that have tried these. Anyways, I love them a lot. They're really easy for like touch-ups, um, on the go. They last a lot longer than a regular lipstick. Um, Essentially what it is, it's, it's a lipstick, but in, like, a pencil form. Let me open this one. So that's what it is. They're very pigmented, of course, obviously, right? It's, it's, it's a lipstick, and that's, in like, a beautiful brown right there. Um, so that's why I love these, the Velvet Lip Pencils. I, I just love them, and they make my job so much easier. So I've been using that a lot on a bunch of photo shoots this month. Um, the next one is a non-NARS product. I, I kind of try to get it mixed up a little bit for here. Um, and this is actually a particular, uh, product. Um, it's an Estee Lauder product, believe it or not. It's a lip gloss. It's a high gloss, ultra bright, brilliance. And it's the number 11 blush. It's this color. The reason why I like this color in particular is because this is such a beautiful color, um, to put on someone if they have a very natural lip color, or even on its own, just to enhance their uh, lip color. Um, I fell in love with this uh, particular gloss when um, I was working on a film, and some of the lead actresses were using, they, we used this on them, and it just looked so brilliant. Um, so I kind of had to go and get it. Uh, this isn't the actual size. I think this is, they actually gave this to me for free um, when I asked about it, and this was like a little gift for just they had going on. <laughs> Um, so this is, like, a product in particular that I really like. Estee Lauder High Gloss Ultra Brilliance in the uh, number 11 blush. So if you guys want to check it out, this is a great everyday color. So that's a particular uh, color. Um, this is a Benefit product that I really love. It's their cream eyeshadow. I, I've always loved their cream eyeshadows. And this is called uh, Skinny Jeans. This is a fantastic um, color that I use quite a bit. And... Um, I really like this shade. Oh, I'll, I'll swatch it, actually. <laughs> I'm thinking. So this is what it looks like on the finger. It's just a beautiful, like, gunmetal, I don't know, like, just cream color. Like, it's just a great base for, like, if you're going out for night, um, you know, can make it smoky. Oh, just beautiful. So, here's that. Um, my next one is a Bobbi Brown product. Um... Almost every shoot I did this month, I actually used the Bobbi Brown foundation sticks. Either uh, with another foundation, like I used uh, a sheer foundation as a base, and then I put this in like the T-zone for more coverage, or somewhere, or it just in the areas where I need more coverage. Um, so it's the foundation sticks. I have them depotted into a palette, of course. Like I have more shades, but um, the Bobbi Brown foundation sticks, I just absolutely love it, and they read really well on camera. So. Um, these are good for, like, if you're, for every day, I guess. If you like the consistency of a stick, they're quite light <coughs> texture. So it's uh, not too bad, actually, at all. Um, for people who wear more makeup on a daily basis, I wouldn't necessarily recommend these for um, people who, like, don't wear a lot of makeup, uh, you know, or a very minimum, I guess. But, I don't know. It's up to you guys. You can check them out. They, they just work really well for my what I need. When I need a little more coverage. Uh, without it being, like, too cakey. Does that make sense? I don't want it to be... 
I don't want it to look like makeup, but I still need that coverage flawlessness for um, photo shoots, right? So I need sometimes a little bit more heavier coverage, but I still need it to look like skin. So that's what the Bobbi Brown Foundation Six does for me, and that's why I like them. Okay, moving on. Uh, the next couple are some eyeshadows from NARS that I need to discuss with you guys. Um, I'm going to talk about three right now. Um, they kind of all kind of go together. There are th there, these are three single shadows. Oh, sorry. I need to blind you. Uh, Blondie. Bali. Wait. Yeah, this is Bali. Uh, okay. And Coconut Grove. Right. Now, the reason why I'm talking about these three in particular together is because these are the three shadows that everyone needs to check out at least. The, these are the greatest eyebrow colors. Like, with these three, I can match anyone, like, eyebrow color, like, on the universe, almost. Um, <clears throat> so, Blondie, obviously, is amazing for blondes, obviously. Uh, Bali is actually one of my favorite shadows from NARS. It's an ash brown, which is perfect for so many people, and I <clears throat> can do so much with it. Coconut Grove is a newer color. It's a darker brown. And the great thing about um, Bali and uh, Coconut Grove is I actually love using them for eyeliners as well. They're great for um, everyday um, eyeliners. Um, it's just so fantastic. I'll do swatches of these. I see. I need. I keep forgetting to do swatches. Okay, so, so that's them on my hand, my fingers. This is Coconut Grove. This is Bali here on the index, and this is Blondie, right here. So these are great shadows for people to check out, and that's them swatched right there. Blondie, Bali, Coconut Grove. So people are like, oh, what are shadows that you would recommend checking out? Those are three that I would check out for sure. The next two are ones that I'd also recommend checking out. These are also two more single shadows that I've been using a lot um, on the job and um, at NARS and for people every day. This is Daphne. I think a lot of people of you guys remember this. Okay, I'll tell you right now, this looks blue on camera and it's so not blue. It is like purple, like it is a royal purple actually. But it's reading on camera blue. Um, this was on the holiday went a uh, holiday collection for NARS um, a, a little bit of twenty ten, and um, <clears throat> this reason why I love this is because what I've been doing is I would do like um, a cold pencil eyeliner, then I take an angle brush, dip it in Daphne, and I smudge it into the cold liner. And oh my God, it is such a fantastic color. So that's why I love the Daphne. And the next one I'm going to recommend is Nepal, N-E-P-A-L. Um, the reason why I love this color is because this is something that I would recommend for people like for like every day. For the people who don't like to wear a lot of makeup but they want something, Nepal is an amazing everyday color. Just wash it all over the lid. It's a slight satin finish. It doesn't have any sparkles in it. And it just gives you your eye just a little something without it being too much. Do you know what I mean? So this is a great eyeshadow for people who don't wear a lot of makeup or who are starting out, who want to wear something, um, but not too much. It's just a fantastic all-over color. I use this a lot. You can use it in the crease. You can use it over the lid. It's just a fantastic color. Um, what else do I need to talk about? Oh, uh, so these are non-makeup products. So um, lately, I'm trying out right now the from Bath and Body Works. Um, Sensual Amber. I bought it in the, um, the Body Triple Moisture Shower Cream, which is gone, almost, and, of course, the regular shower gel. So these are, um, what I've been using, uh, these are, like, my body products for the month, and, um, they're quite nice. I mean, yeah, they're, they're not too girly, like, I don't feel like I'm, I, like, bathe in flowers when I get out, you know, they're not too girly, they're not too spicy there it's it's a nice and warm kind of smell and I quite like it um I don't see it doesn't say like the notes and stuff like that like what the smells are exactly I don't know how to explain it but if you guys have a bath and body go check it out essential amber is actually quite nice I mean but you know the thing with fragrance is there's such a personal thing that it works different for everyone so but I just wanted to show you you know these are my favorites right 
Um, next ones are my shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> um, Nioxin. <laughs> The reason why I'm using Nioxin, right? Oh shoot! What is going on? Oh, sorry, my laptop just crapped out. <coughs> the reason why I've been using Nioxin is because I do have really fine hair, like baby thin hair, not like balding, but like I just have really thin hair. So these Nioxin, I are just perfect for um, my hair. I'm getting shadow all over the white container. Brown shadow on white is not good. Um, <clears throat> so, these are for, like, people for, like, balding or thinning hair or, you know, things like that. But it's great for people who ha <coughs> have really thin hair. These are really, really great products that I definitely recommend. Teresa, Juicy Tuesday, um, um, recommended these a while ago. But I actually finally went out and got it. Um, my hairdresser was like, you should get my axe. I'm like, fine, I'll get it. Um, so, that's, um what I've been using, and they're, they're really, really, really good, and they smell good, too, like, they're, they're not, like, too perfumey or anything, and they smell decent, um, so it's been really good, uh, the <clears throat> next one is a body product, it's my, my body lotion, okay, check this out, look at this, I think I bought this for, like, $40 from Spa Utopia, okay, great, great lotion, oh, my god, it just, <clears throat> it's such a great, um, light, um, uh, body lotion, I have a problem with, like, um, body lotions, and then I put it on, it's, like, too rich, and I get all sweaty and gross, because my body's rejecting it, because it's all, like, too rich, right, but the ingredients, you know, the reason why I got it was because of the ingredients, like, you know, like, coconut oil, sunflower seed oil, like, just soybean oil, like, all these great ingredients, and, like, almond oil, like, what more do you want other than, like, freaking, I don't know, like, it just has a great ingredient list, and it really does live up to that list, of course. Because when it comes to products, I obviously look at the ingredients, and if it's, like, water, alcohol, coloring, filler, I obviously I'm not going to get it, right? But this had none of that, and I've been so, like, looking for a product that, for my body, that I can use. Um, and it's great, and I use this in... For models too, right? I put it in like a little thing and I put it on. It's amazing. It absorbs so easy. So, um, so that's that. Um, my last one is, oh my god. This month, this is the biggest thing for me. I've been so obsessed with these. Like, you wouldn't believe. And I don't know why. I used to eat them like years, in, or, yeah, eat them years and years ago. So, but, <laughs> animal crackers. Oh my god, you guys, like, I for totally for it's one of those things where, like, you totally forget about something, and then you, like, go grocery shopping, and you go down the aisle that I never go down, which is, like, cookies and stuff, because I don't, I'm not a sweets kind of person, but then I saw Animal Crackers, and I bought them, and I've been enjoying them. Mm. Um, I just love them. So, um, so yeah, that's my April's favorites. It wasn't too, too exciting, I don't think. Um, hope it helps. Uh, any questions? Oh, and welcome to my new subscribers from Teresa. Thank you so much, for Teresa, for that shout-out from that video. Um, that was really, really nice of you. And um, thank you for the new subscribers from, you know, continuing. And as you get to know me, I, I sometimes will, like, not do a video for a while because I'm working a lot. Um, but sometimes I'm actually on it, and I'll do, like, a video, like, actually, like, once or two, twice a week for a little bit, and then I'll stop, and then I'll... It, it's, it's like a surprise every time when I'm going to do a video, so... Um, yeah, so I think that's about it. Uh, any questions, anything like that, you know, I don't know, write to me and I'll answer. Maybe I'll do another, like, question video or whatever. Um, yeah. All right. I gotta go do my laundry, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.